Hi everybody, it's Maggie and uh, I'm going to attempt to do a tutorial on how to do a collage. This is the first video tutorial I've ever done, so bear with me. Um, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we bring in a whole bunch of different images that we think would look good in our collage. I always like to bring in a few more than uh, is probably necessary simply because uh, I want to have a nice composition and I may move things around and find that I have one or two that are too many. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, to resize our images so they all have the same height. Uh, so I go into image and image size and here where it says height I'm going to set that to 500 pixels high. And we have to do this with every single one of our images before we can continue. I've already done them. The next thing we want to do is open up a new fresh image, just the background with nothing on it. To open up a new file, we go into File, New. Um, since I want to make two rows of images and I've set them to 500 uh, high each, um, I'm thinking that if I have 1,500, that'll cover my 1,000 pixels with room to spare. Uh, where it says name at the top, it is a good idea for this to write background. And that's it. There you go. There are two ways to get your images on different layers on top of your background because that's what we need to do. The first way to move them is to click on the image that you want, the little thumbnail here, the layer thumbnail that you want to put onto your background and just click with a left click and drag and just drop and there it is. There is another way though because not everybody likes to drag and drop. I've heard a lot of people that are not used to working in Photoshop say, oh, they have trouble doing it. So, I have a different way also. The second way to get your images on different layers on this background is to go to each of them one by one and where it says background, that's the only layer you have, you right click, you say duplicate layer, you'll get this pop-up window and where it says document, you drop down and go to background and press OK. When you go back to your background, here it is. So you can come here and you can close it because we don't want to save over it. It's going to ask if you want to save, say no. And now we're going to do the same thing with every single one that you have here. OK, so now we have our background layer with all our different photos on different layers on top of it. Um, the first thing we will notice is that I put different names for each one. Uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, it, it's just helpful if you have many different kinds of photos when you're moving them around it's a little difficult to see exactly where they are in these thumbnails so by having names for them like I know this is brick a brac and you may not see them but if you look they're all underneath right um, it'll help me move them around. Uh, but if you're taking a, uh, 20 pictures of chipmunks and trying to put them all on the same background, uh, chipmunk one, chipmunk two, three, four will not help you very much. You'll have to rely on the little thumbnails here to help you move them around. The next thing we should do before going any further is make sure that if you are using uh, Photoshop CS2 or higher, you go into View, Show, and there's a thing called Smart Guides. It's checked. I always check it because I use it a lot. The thing that it does is that when you use your Move tool and you move things from different layers, do you see that those, the lines that show up? Those are alignment lines. So when it hits something is aligned you'll see that line. It'll align with the centers and it'll align with the sides and we want everything to be nicely aligned so it doesn't look sloppy. So the next thing we'll do is start moving things around and try and make a nice composition. So okay, so let's move this maybe here 
and um, let's see what do we have here we, obviously we got to move we're going to close these a bit so you can see what we're doing we have too many uh, so I like this we can whoops you have to make sure they're highlight put that there and um, open that one up see just use the little eye right here and if you close it it disappears and it'll come back the only reason I'm doing it right now is that we have several of them it's hard to see what is what so the rare window let's put it somewhere here and the red leaves will leave on the bottom layer and uh, these moss hearts let's put them down here somewhere and uh, the boots with the door somewhere around here um, okay and this here that uh, oops. last is the summer I like maybe a larger one on the corner here so they don't have the same thing as up there and these leaves um, okay I'll put them down here and I'll take these leaves and bring them up here that look better I think and um, and this one here will look good here and this one will maybe be too much so let's make them nice and straight um, we'll start with this one here the rear window so let's put that place for that and let's line this give it that much space we'll see after if we have to adjust a little bit um, we'll move this one here and this one here yeah, it looks not too bad now uh, we'll go down to do, 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 do. let's see this one here going to give it about the same kind of space and this one here line that this could be a little bit closer we'll see what happens with these here um, take this align that see that how nice that pink line is it's really making me sure that I'm aligned and uh, when I'm really on the corner I'll see the line there too and I'll take this and move this here uh, this here is a little uh, I can move it a bit you'll find that you may have a little bit of difference you can use your arrow keys left and right to help you may have a little bit of a difference for your images but as long as everything that is all around whoops <laughs> I shouldn't be a little more careful when the top of your images and the bottom of your images and the sides are all aligned it's going to look neat and no one will even notice these little little details uh, I could move this one just a bit and then I'll take this one here and move it just a bit and that'll be fine now we're almost done for this but obviously this is not all the same size so I'm going to take my crop tool click on the corner here and just pull it until I get on the corner here and then press enter that'll crop it now I have no border but I want a border that's equal anyways right so I'm going to go into image canvas size and I'll add 100 pixels all around so 100 to the width 100 to the height and click OK now that looks fine I would kind of like it to be a little bit a little bigger so I'm gonna add an extra hundred you don't have to this is personal decisions that you make so here I find that that looks nice so we could stop here and save but we're going to go a little bit further for those that want to have a little extra touch as you might have noticed we've placed all these images on the default white background but you don't have to use a default white background you can use any color you want always try to remember though that you know if you put a screaming color behind it's going to overpower your images but uh, the collage question came up during uh, a texture 
assignment and uh, I use the black background with a, a stroking of color around each image to make it pop a bit. So I'll show you how to do that. It's really easy. The first thing you'll notice is I don't have the right color here. So um, if you press D on your keyboard, it'll turn it to the default black and white. By doing that, I'm going to go here to my background and then use my bucket tool and simply click and it'll bucket black all behind everything. Now, that could be fine except that you'll notice that areas of really dark black vignetting and shadows that the corners sort of don't really show up and it, it's not as pretty as it could be. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a stroke and the stroke uh, we just need to go to one of the, the layers with an image and I think that we could either add white or we could be a little adventurous and maybe use a rusty color that we ha seem to tie in into every image. So the first thing we'll do is go here into our layer styles and at the very bottom we have a thing called stroke. So we'll open that up. Now it says here black size is one. I'm going to use uh, two and we'll see if that's a good enough size. And the color thing here, we're going to open it up and let's choose sort of a rusty kind of color and we'll see what that looks like. So where did we put it? Um, I need to put, okay, sorry. So we see it here. It's really a little, I could probably use a bigger stroke than that. It feels a little, a little light. So I'm going to click on it and let's put four. Let's see what that looks like. That looks fine, I think. Right? Right. That looks good. Now, I don't want to have to do this one by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this layer and choose copy layer style. So I do that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift and then click all the way up to the top. Uh, the top one we don't need, sorry. We'll throw that one away. Oops. We'll just leave it there. We don't need that. <laughs> That's the layer that we decided not to use. So I'm going to delete that layer. Okay. So come back here and shift click all the way to the top right click again now paste layer style and now they all have the really nice little stroke around them okay we can end it here but we're gonna try one more thing as you can see I've reverted to the white background that is the default that we had before uh, the reason for this is I'm going to show you how to put a little drop shadow underneath all of the images. It'll give just help it pop a little bit. We never put a black, uh, we never put a drop shadow on a black background because we can't see it. We don't want something to look like it's very offset and hanging from a foot in the sky with a harsh direct light. Uh, we just want a little subtle pop. So what we're going to do is let's see, we'll be able to see it here very nicely. We'll go to the rear window and uh, go here where we have our layer styles and choose drop shadow. Um, I'm going to choose three pixels and eight pixels because I think that will look good. See, it's just subtle but it pops it out just a tiny bit. And I'll press OK. Now, just like we did when we did our stroke, we right click, we copy the layer style. I'll come here to the bottom then shift click all the way to the top and right click again paste layer style and they're all done. Uh, you could do now we could go to the background and since if you leave it like this it'll just be a collage that looks like all these images are just laying on the white background. If you have if they're being posted somewhere where the background is white you may want to add um, just a two pixel uh, here canvas extension color add some black and that will give you just a tiny little line that'll make it pop if you want you can uh, we can take that off and do canvas size 
and <clears throat> add a little bit. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is here. I'm gonna take my background and duplicate it. So I have two of them, and I'll go back to, all the way down to the bottom one. Go to image canvas size, and now let's add I don't know 40 all around, and make sure that it's white. You can either I often just move my cursor but there is white and black already integrated. That's okay. I see it's a little bit bigger but what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the one that I put as a copy and add a drop shadow there also. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to 3 and to 8 and it'll just just show up as being over the thing. Um, yeah, so there you go. And it'll look fine. And we're done. The, uh, one thing you might want to do is change the size since it's for the web. This is really very big. Let's put it to 1600. That should be beautiful. Okay. I personally, um, this is the full size of the image. I personally save for the web right here. And I save here.